Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the drive in the main SATA bay of a 2017 21.5-inch iMac. Replacing the drive in these iMacs is an advanced installation with a risk of damage to your screen. It's highly recommended that you watch this video in its entirety before proceeding. If you're unsure about completing this installation yourself, professional installation is available. We've already backed up our data, gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. After shutting down and unplugging the iMac, the first thing we'll need to do is remove the display. The display on the iMac is held in place with an adhesive around the edges which you'll have to cut apart. This is a tricky process which runs the risk of cracking the display, so you'll need to be very careful. Starting on one of the lower corners, insert the screen removal tool between the glass and the chassis. Work along all the edges of the iMac, taking care not to push out on the glass. All we're doing is cutting the tape holding the display on, not prying the glass away. The process may take a little bit, and you may need to go over sections multiple times, so be patient. The corners may be a little tricky. Make sure the tool is right up against the chassis to make sure all the tape is cut. When near the camera, you may feel some bumps as the tape is thin here. Continue around the iMac until you reach the other side. You may now lay the iMac face up on your work surface and attach the suction cups to the upper corners. Do one last check to make sure you've loosened all the adhesive around the edges of the iMac, then lift the glass partway up using the suction cups. Inside, near the top, you'll need to detach two cables. For the first, simply slide it out of its socket by its tabs. For the second cable, first lift up on the plastic tab to unlock the connector, then slide it out. You can then angle the display the rest of the way up and remove the adhesive holding the bottom of the display. Simply grab the tab on each side of the screen and slowly pull it towards the center until it comes free. Finally, use your opening tool to slit any remaining adhesive along the center edge and you should be able to remove the display and set it aside. To remove the original hard drive, we'll need to detach the retainers held in by these four Torx T10 screws. Once you've removed the retainers, you can lift the drive up from the bay and detach the SATA connector holding it in. The connector can be tight and the cord is short, so it may just be a matter of finding the right angle. You can then set the drive aside. We can install any standard 2.5 inch SATA drive in this bay, either an SSD or platter based drive. For this installation, we're going to install an SSD. We'll need to reuse the rubber bumpers from the original drive on the new one. Simply peel the bumpers off the sides of the original drive, and place them on the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow them to stick. To reattach the new drive, it may be easier to move this speaker unit out of the way so you have more room to work. Loosen the two Torx T10 screws that holds it in, then lift the speaker unit up and rotate it to the side slightly to reveal the SATA connector. You should now have enough room to attach the SATA connector to the drive.
You can now set the drive itself so it lays flat in the bay. You can then set the speaker unit back into place and tighten the screws down again. Place the drive retainer that goes on the speaker side into place, making sure not to pinch the power cable wire, and secure it with the two identical sized screws. Then replace the other retainer. The side near the fan gets the shortest screw, while the remaining screw goes on the power supply side. Next, clean off any remaining adhesive from around the edges of the iMac chassis and from the back of the display. Now we can set the display tape pieces in place according to the diagram that comes with the kit. You'll know their position correctly if all the holes and cutouts line up correctly with the shape of the iMac chassis. Once you've determined all the pieces of tape have been placed correctly, peel off the backing and adhere them to their places on the iMac. You can then peel off the backing on the other side to expose the adhesive that will attach the display. Set the display along the bottom with the edges flush with the lip and as centered as possible. But don't let it close yet as we need to reconnect the video cables. Reattach the lower cable by sliding the connector into its socket and locking it into place with the handle. Then, simply slide the last connector into its socket. You can now carefully lower the display into place, making sure you have the edges lined up correctly. Gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the adhesive sticks. Then use the microfiber cloth to remove any extra fingerprints. Once you clean any remaining marks off your iMac, you're ready to set it back upright, plug it back in, hook it up, and turn it on.